Hello, internet friends. I'm Wep, and I'm going to be playing this game. It's on the screen. Look it up. Google it. Google what's on my screen. Anyways, um, this is Puzzle Agent 2. I have a confession. I am not good at puzzle games. So this is going to suck. Lots. It's going to suck lots. Anyways, here we go. Played the first one of this, and I think it probably took me about five hours. Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. <laughs> Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... This is the part where everyone finds out that I am stupid. Can Nelson see the unique details of the moon? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbols contains no duplicates. I did not pay attention. Okay, we got this. That wasn't so horrible. Eraser Factory is back open, even though Foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed. Ingram? Oh, hiya, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. See, uh, I think if you find bubble gum, it can be used to unlock hints. And the bubble gum is loosed around the world. Is this one? No. I don't see any. How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Taro murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle division! Wow! Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked that case wide open. So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out! I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle-solving department. 
Yeah, about that. Can you solve this four dragon puzzle designed by puzzle master Hanji Monosaki? What is the next number in the sequence? Crap! I don't do these puzzles. So now it's going to be me staring at the screen for a long time. There will be silence. Possibly to the sounds of me breathing, but um, one, 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 two, one, two. That does not help. Seems to reset after hitting twelve. What is the next number in the sequence? <laughs> Shut up. What goes from one to twelve before starting over? I don't know. Clock. Eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Shit. Yeah. This is why they pay me the big money. Nice try, Jim, but you see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost. Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm going to be taking some time off and. I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through Vegetable Crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory form is still missing. There has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Dowder and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Oh, there's some gum. Right in the window there. Can't click it yet.
I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. So if you've played Professor Layton, this game is very similar to that one. Yeah, don't see any more. Hey kids at home, do you see any gum in the room? Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh, yeah, lots of, you know, tourists. Here for the snow and, uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself. Martha claims she has booked all the rooms in the inn. <sighs> can you figure out room assignments that will satisfy everyone's requests and spare room for Nelson to stay in? Ah, shit, it's one of these. There are six rooms at the inn, three on each floor. The guest sits his requests are Mr. Maxwell insisted he stay on the floor above Mrs. LaRue. Mrs. Dimpleton will not stay on a floor with more men than women. 
Mr. Blesson and Mr. Carlman always get rooms on the same floor. Completely forgotten the rules. Stay on the floor above Miss Lover. I did it. Yeah, looking smart on the internet. That's a lot of stamps. It looks like there's a room available. Hmm, well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being, uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. Uh, the, the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh, heavens no. Of course it's not bed bugs. It's, uh, uh, painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. I wonder if she wants me to leave the hotel. Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. Bing. I kind of miss the wooden gnome collection, Miss Garrett. Made the whole place seem creepier. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide something. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. I'm going to investigate. More gone. It's just the door. 
Yeah, that was the door sound, all right. The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for the night. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. I wonder if I could sneak this painting out in my carry-on luggage. This carry-on luggage? Oops. It's clear now that the mysteries of Scoggins go deeper than the incident at the eraser factory. And I'm convinced I made the right choice to come back. Assuming, of course, I make it through the night. Huh? Ah, crap, it's a puzzle. Discover the secret message by placing the names of Scoggin's missing residents in order they disappeared, starting from the first to go missing. It's no good. Someone knows I'm in town because I've just received a note. Isaac Davner does not exist. I won't have any idea what that means until I've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other side. My first priority tomorrow is to take this note into town and find out what these names have in common. I think I totally just missed a puzzle back in the hotel. Pointing that puzzle. Stove still. Okay, here we go. Hidden people lamp to stare at me all night while I sleep. Comforting. Help trace the sighting of the hidden people by arranging these photos in order.
Another puzzle solved. This is everything I've been able to uncover about Isaac Davner. I'm positive he's at the center of all this, but how? Never thought I'd be looking at Scoggins again, but I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of Isaac Davner's disappearance. I've been looking through these files for weeks, but I still can't see how everything is connected. Stupid flyers. Uh, crash of a black moon. Um, excuse me. Daryl, was it? Hang on, I'm bit. Hey, you're that FBI guy. Special Agent Tethers, Puzzle Research Division. Yeah, well, I've got a missing person case for you guys to solve. The factory foreman? That's old news. I'm talking about my brother, Daryl. Could you tell me more about your brother's disappearance? We were out past Sassamy Woods a couple of days ago. Daryl split off on his own because he said we were in Barrel Oak country. Barrel Oak? Oh, they're real. Don't doubt it. A and he was scared of them. Scared? Nah, he went hunting for them. Haven't seen them since. Have you seen or heard from Isaac Davner since I left? Who? The foreman of the eraser factory. He went missing after the factory shut down. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, figures. People here go missing all the time. Do you know anything about the hidden people? Great. My brother goes missing and the FBI comes to ask me about forest gnomes. You don't believe in them? You should have come here earlier, when I was four years old and listened to bedtime stories. Where have you been putting up those flyers? I've been getting permission first. It's legal. Need any help? Sure. Federal tax dollars should work. Daryl is passing out flyers in the neighborhood, but the flyer bandit is at large and will steal them. Figure out where to place the stacks to ensure 50 flyers reach the end of the pass. Have the assistance at that. Ensure that exactly 50 flyers will make it to the other side of town. Each person will pick up one paper. At a fork in the road, half will take the left path. The bandit will steal the flyers from anyone who passes by him. The bandit is at one of three locations marked with a question mark, but nobody knows which one. Okay, this is pretty ambiguous. First I gotta figure out how to add up to all the way to 50. a bit.
so that's like 46 or something. Yeah. So I have to make it so that each one of these adds up to 15. Okay. 20 more. And there would need to be a 4, so that doesn't work. kind of hard. I can solve this if I just keep flipping stuff around. I suppose I could add up all the numbers to see whatever.
Yeah, I'm just basically playing with the numbers right now. It would have to be 12 that was taken away. So. That should get everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it in this town. People disappear all the time in Scoggins. Nobody even notices anymore. There have been other missing people? Plenty others. Even that researcher over at the campground had his buddy go missing just last week. Hmm. Do you know where I could... He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. It sounds like Isaac Davner's just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. Uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scoggins. I'm a student of mankind. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? Friend? Oh, yes. They must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared, oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. Is there anything else you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. 
Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. The ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes. The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Davner or your missing friend, please let me know. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. He was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bogg. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. What he said. <laughs> Don't you have any puzzles for me to solve? I'm a puzzle agent. That fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw, assuming this place ever thaws. No puzzles? Not even a word search? Okay. This game actually kind of reminds me of um, Alan Wake for some weird reason. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. He just recorded the same thing twice. Between the five generators, power all devices using every available power outlet. Generators will evenly split power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to their power needs.
Okay, so... Wait, do I really have to use every power outlet? That kind of sucks. Getting my wires crossed here. Actually, damn it. Damn it. This one needs fifteen. Fifteen. Plus fifteen would be thirty. Plus another ten. Totally isn't right. all my toes are this. I guess it would be 40. Damn it, I am not good at math. I'm not a math scientist. I'm just gonna say it's 40. Twenty 
35, 40, 45. Now this should be right, unless it's wrong. And I didn't do my math correctly. Hey. Hey. So I think, um, Agent Teddy is here. Chew's already been chewed gum. The foreman's wife, Glory Davner, is still working at the diner as if nothing's happened. Even though her husband's still missing, and the last time I saw her, she was using a chainsaw to try to drown me under a lake of ice. I still don't know how she's involved, but I'd better make it clear I'm only trying to help if I want to get any information. Equal distribution of weight between hertz. Twelve votes to title compensation, sir. The whispers. Oh. Hi, Steve. You're that FBI agent. Grapples? Tethers. Have you seen Isaac Davner around town? Davner? The old eraser factory foreman? Oh, nobody's seen him since the incident. What can you tell me about the hidden people? I'm not into that anymore. The market dropped out on gnome figurines. No, I mean real ones. Real hidden people? Are you trying to catch me saying something crazy? Is this entrapment? How's business? I'm not into tchotchke smuggling anymore, if that's what you're asking. No, I, I was just... You can't prove anything. Calm down. Okay. It's that I just can't figure out this problem. Maybe you can help. Cross the streams. Transport the four animals across the river in as many trips as you need. Keep in mind that the boat's weight limit... Keep in mind the boat's weight limit and prevent the critters from eating each other. Oh, the scrap. A bear will eat the wolf, the wolf will eat the mongoose, the mongoose will eat the snake, the snake will eat the bear somehow. The boat has a weight limit of 200 and more. Wait. So... That's not good. No. Why do I even need these animals anyways?
tan tan Mrs. Javner, Glory, I think Isaac must have been involved in something big. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Hello, Sheriff Bog. Agent Heathers, what are you doing back in town? We got everything under control, and we don't need the FBI poking its... Calm down, Sheriff. I'm just here on personal leave. Hmm. Well, I keep my eye on tourists just the same as FBI agents. When I filed my report with the Bureau, I left out the part about you holding me at gunpoint. Come on, Tethers. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington, but out here, sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do, even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm convinced that they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. What? That's crazy. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not going to let them be harassed by anybody, FBI or no. I've heard that Isaac Davner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other disappearances? What can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons, but I don't have to show them to any FBI man, especially one who's not here on official business. I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident at the factory. Agent Taylor, please. Just because we don't live in some fancy city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. You've been just as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service agent, Chathers. Enjoy your time in our town and behave yourself. Agent Heathers. Ah! We need to talk outside. I need to clean up my fridge. What did you need to talk about, Mrs. Davner? It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to be back. That has nothing to do with the game, but I need to clean up my fridge. Just thought I would say so. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you were going to stop the Brotherhood. I couldn't let you. Isaac needed to finish his journey. Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden... help them take him. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Isaac was... troubled. The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. How were the Brotherhood supposed to cure Isaac? Some kind of spiritual thing, I guess. Neither of us really understood it, but we were desperate. Do you have any idea where the Hidden People would have taken Isaac? The Hidden People aren't real. But I saw them taking Isaac away. It's the Brotherhood. They lied. What do you mean when you say the Brotherhood lied? Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A metaphor? No, a crock. But we try anything, and now Isaac's missing. In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac with the rest of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us, help Isaac. 
But they've been taking people. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the sheriff? The sheriff knows. He's working with them. Look, um, Lori, I'd like to stay and talk, but... You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, that's actually a good idea. I'll make sure Sheriff Bog stays in the diner. Find out anything you can about Isaac. I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Dabney. His wife, Glory, believes that the local cult is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I'm going back to the sheriff's office to find out exactly what he's hiding in his files. Oh, that's not incriminating at all. Oh, Mr. Scroffman, you've been there the whole time. Mm-hmm. conversation between Glory and me was strictly confidential, you know. I know you'd like Isaac out of the way, but I'm going to find him. If you say so. station is locked tight. It looks like the sheriff's interest in puzzles extends to office security. With one cut, we move all obstructions to break down the sheriff's door. Holy crap. the chains too. All the chains would come undone when the planks are cut. find those missing persons files. Help Nelson get to the other side of the room unseen. Drag the office furniture around to block the light sources and create a safe path for Nelson to walk through.
god. I don't even know how this chair got over here. Pretty sure it just needed to stay up there. Achievement for every puzzle. Hello, Agent Tethers. Cripes, Sheriff Boss. How long have you been standing? Randall Scruffman told me you might be paying my office a visit. I'm sorry, it's just... I really needed to see how bad this missing person problem is. Everything I got about missing people is in those files. Uh, thanks. I think I reached the maximum gum I can have, so there probably won't be any more until I use some hints. I wonder if the rest of the Scoggins police force is as competent as Sheriff Bog. With all due respect, Sheriff, these files aren't exactly comprehensive. There are no dates. What's in the files is everything I got, Tethers. Discover the secret message by placing the names of Scoggins missing residents residences in order they disappeared starting from the first to go missing. Isaac was the last to be kidnapped before Daryl, who was kidnapped last. Aldor and Will were kidnapped before Ted. Ted was not kidnapped before them. <laughs> Isaac was the last. Oh, Daryl was the last, Isaac was second to last. Drink your Ovaltine. Alder and Will were kidnapped before Ted. Ted was not kidnapped fourth. So he would be third. And Will was not kidnapped first. Dun dun dun. Okay, that's not a word. Spells a name? Teeter Daughter. Did you say Teeter Daughter? Uh, maybe. Hmm, that's probably Melkorka Teeter Daughter. And she's a strange one. Keeps her herself. Nobody in town really knows her. Is she one of the missing people? Missing? No, I can't say anyone would miss her. She lives in the old Teeterson house over on the west side of town, near Valda's Inn. Then I'd better find out what she knows about all these disappearances. 
Put my furniture back in order and fix the lock on your way out, Tethers. <laughs> nope. I'm leaving. I guess I get overconfident in my gum having ability. At least the eraser factory is up and running again. Scoggin's only exports are erasers and weirdness. Assuming Sheriff Bog wasn't sending me on another wild goose chase, I've arrived at the house of the mysterious Melkorka. I'm still not sure how she ties into the disappearances, but she's the only lead I've got. According to the Sheriff's description, she sounds like a recluse, probably the town's resident gossipy spinster. Hello, nurse. Good evening, Agent Tethers. I see you found my note. Bah. Quickly, come inside before they see us. I see you're a puzzle fan, Miss Teeterdaughter. I dabble, keeps the brain sharp. And my friends call me Korka. I would hope you're a friend, Agent Tethers. Mm -hmm. Can I get you a drink? Or a crossword? Just the facts, ma'am. games and they're all for two players only marry me oh i i mean you should try the new uh strategy game marry me it, it, it's fun for the uh, whole family is this the latest from hanji monosaki rated four dragons they said monosaki sensei's lost his edge i thought it was kind of tricky Odd place for a puzzle. In the first, yeah, in the first box is a penny, the second box is a dime, and a third box is a penny and a dime. Ah, uh, it's one of these again. about the value of the boxes without the decimal point. One, seven, one, ten, eleven. Ten, eleven, one. 
one ten eleven five. One ten eleven ten. One ten eleven twenty five. Is that it? That's a half dollar, right? Or no way, is Kennedy the half dollar? Ah! Screw it, let's put it in this one. <laughs> that was a guess. Oh. I wasn't thinking about it, right? Well, that takes care of that one. There's a puzzle here. Where are the next two digits in this sequence? 31, 41, 59, 20, 6. Oh, shit. I have no idea. What do these numbers as a whole refer to? Um, 3.141526 Oh yeah, and, and I would have to know the next um, number in pi. 3.1459267 Yeah. I don't... I don't know pi. You're a really big number. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Three point one four one five nine two six. I am now going to use the uh, internet to look up the value of pi. And the internet is really slow. Three point one four one five nine two six five six five. Yay. Was saved by you're the man now, dog. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Three point one four one five nine two six five nine two six. Oh, well, that's two nine two six five three. Damn it, that's not the enter button. That was a tricky one.
Oh, I clicked the wrong part of the screen. You mentioned a note. Are you the one who slipped a note with a puzzle under my door? Forgive the theatrics, Agent Tethers. I knew your reputation, but I had to be sure you had what it takes. Your puzzle had a list of all the missing people in Scoggins for over a decade. I've been keeping track. Somebody has to. There's a name I didn't recognize. Halder Magnuson. Haldor. He was my partner. Business partner? Eight years ago, he went into the woods. Never came back. What does this mean? Isaac Davner does not exist. Finally, you're asking the right questions. Test pilot Ed Davis? But that's... That's Isaac Davner. And look at the date of that article. 16 years ago, and that's just a few weeks before the date of the first missing persons case. Exactly. How are the hidden people tied into all this? Seriously, Agent Heathers? Maybe I misjudged you. Are you here to investigate a crime? Or to chase after forest gnomes, like those gullible fools in the Brotherhood cult? None of this explains how Bjorn and his Brotherhood cult is involved. Think clearly, Nelson. That lodge has been a part of the town for decades. The disappearances started only 16 years ago. There is only one explanation. Ed Davis, your Isaac Davner, is a serial murderer. But the hidden people! I saw them take Isaac away! Smokescreen. Davner disappeared just as you were getting too close. You're the only one who can find him and stop him. I don't know what to think. I need some gum. Let me see your map. I have marked approximately where in the woods Halto disappeared. Once the FBI showed up, Ed Davis ran back into hiding. But... You want to find Isaac Davner? Head back to the scene of his crimes. All right, I'll do it. Someone has got to investigate. Come back whenever you find something, Nelson. I'll be up. I can stay up all night. <laughs> well then. It got dark. Okay, that's it for this episode. That was Puzzle Agent 2. Pretty good game. Had to use Google. And enjoy the rest of your day. I'm still talking.